Hi, I'm Marina. Here's what happened at this week's City Council meeting. The meeting started with public comment and then one item of notice council business with council approving a donation to local nonprofit Sparkling Kindness by a 9 to 0 vote. Council heard staff's monthly oil and gas update before moving on to the consent agenda, which consisted of 13 items and was approved unanimously. Public hearings came next, starting with council unanimously approving the 2025 city budget on a continuation of a discussion from last month. The next public hearing proposed amending the subdivision plat for Second Creek Farm filing number three at East 92nd Avenue and Tower Road, which passed 9-0. An accompanying resolution also passed 9-0 to approve the transfer of city-owned property for a drainage facility as part of that same project. Another resolution provided the city's consent to the Commerce City Housing Authority to pursue its own insurance coverage after having coverage through the city since 2017. That motion passed 7-0 with two abstentions. Ordinances on first reading came next, with council unanimously recognizing funding for two grants. The first approved nearly $20,000 for the police department's bulletproof vest program, and the second recognized $7,000 in Great Outdoors Colorado Generation Wild Grant funds. During ordinances on second reading, Council voted 8-1 to one to appropriate nearly $1.3 million for use on the Adams Tower six-floor lease and renovation project. Council then moved on to Administrative Council business, passing a motion for a letter of support for a grant application from VRO Fiber Networks that could impact the northeast portion of the city. Another motion authorized Mayor Douglas to speak on the city's behalf at an upcoming Air Quality Control Commission hearing, which passed by an 8-1 to one vote. The meeting recessed to brief meetings of the Urban Renewal Authority and the city's three general improvement districts before council reconvened for an executive session to complete the city manager's annual performance evaluation. Following the session, council voted 8-0 to zero with one abstention to approve a resolution establishing 2025 performance standards and a pay raise for city manager Jason Rogers. For more information about what happened at this week's City Council meeting, we are online at the address on your screen. You can also watch the meeting in its entirety at c3gov.com slash video. Thanks for watching.